Miss Kringle, ever since I first laid eyes on you, I felt this deep connection. <clears throat> Perhaps you felt it too? Ugh, cheesy. Miss Kringle, you've perhaps felt my affections from afar. Afar, really? Oh, God. <laughs> Miss Kringle, dinner tonight. Um, chez moi. Eight o'clock. Okay. I'd like that. You will. I can honestly say that our interactions are always the highlight of my day. Please, uh, Kristen. Oh my God, I even accuse you of writing Doherty's goodbye note. <laughs> right. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, uh, who knows what that jerk was thinking? I'm jerk. How I ever let him lay a hand on me, I'll never know. I'm glad he's dead. You blew it, dummy. Nice work. Leave me alone. Are you talking to me? No. Honestly, Kristen, I wasn't talking to you. Who else is there? I talked to myself. It's crazy, I know, I just, I have this, um, I have this voice inside my head, a sort of stronger version of me that keeps this me in line because I'm such a klutz. <laughs> you are so sweet. Kristen, what's the matter? Um, I'm scared. Of what? Of Tom Doherty. He's... Trust me, he's been taken care of. What does that mean? Um... Some time ago, he and I had an altercation. I asked him to treat you with more respect. Oh my God. And he said he would treat you any way he liked and he assaulted me. Oh my God. So anyhow, long story short, I killed him. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, Where are you going? Could you? No, please sit down. Don't touch me. Would you please let me explain? There is nothing to explain. I don't even know who you are. No, that's wrong. You are a murderer. He was a monster. You said so. He was abusing you. I can't believe I even fell for you, you sicko. I'm not sick. I love you. I did it for you. Everything I ever thought about you, I was right. I should have my head examined. Don't say that. I am. Wait, who are you? I would never do anything to hurt you. I had to kill him because he hit you. Do you understand that? I did it for you. I promise I will never do anything to hurt you ever again. I love you. I've loved you since the first moment that I saw you. Kristen. Kristen. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Oh.
Well, I'm afraid this is as proper a burial as circumstances allow. But I thought we could have one last meal together. Not usually any people out here. Can I interest you in a tea sandwich? A what? What the heck is in there? Great. Now I've got to improvise. Don't go anywhere. Movement and elevated heart rate are counterproductive to the healing process. Apologies in advance. Messed up, my feathered friend. We have a big night ahead of us. Why are you playing a song? That's all I have left now. Memories. And they're like daggers in my heart. Not forever. These were Miss Kringles. It's all I have left to remember her by. But when I look at these, I don't feel sadness anymore. I feel gratitude. And do you know why? No. And I don't care. This little visit is over. They left. A man with nothing that he loves is a man that cannot be bargained. A man that cannot be betrayed. A man who answers to no one but himself. And that is the man that I see before me. A free man. What's this about? 
Oh, Detective Gordon will explain. He's just behind me. Oh, OK. Hey, Pinckney. What do you call a tavern of blackbirds? A crowbar! <laughs> you get it? A crowbar? I know it's kind of lame. Just came up with it on the spot. Oh. Yes, he does sound like a bird. And he's doing his best to mask his voice. Too bad the quality's so poor. Uh, well, I'm afraid it's a dead end. We should at least clean the tape. Right. He still has lackeys in the GCPD. Is that so? Everything points to a cop. Or someone who worked with the police, had access. You all right, Ed? Right as rain. Just thinking. <clears throat> Surely you don't think that Loeb killed Pinckney himself? No. He had some psychopath do it for him. Psychopath seems a strong word. Shut up, you're talking too much. Ed, did Penguin ever say anything about that night? Hmm? Did Penguin ever tell you anything about the night that Galavan died? No, remember I nipped that friendship in the bud? And you didn't talk to him in the GCPD when Barnes brought him in? Yes. No. I... Just to say hi. Oh, tape's finished. I'm gonna give that a listen. Let's both listen. Swell idea. Doors, Jimbo. And they're just the spot. I'll give you a hint, Jimbo. JK. Kristen Kringle. I'm gonna have to move you. Jim Gordon. So you did find Penguin. And that little bird sang. No, I just followed you. Because <laughs> it would make you incompetent? to know that I was right under your nose the whole time? Or you don't want to admit that there's a monster in all of us because you, of all people, should know that! That's what made it so easy to frame you. <laughs> I was your friend. Where are you, Jim? Were you my friend? Or did you just pity me? Oh, poor weird little Ed. With his little silly wordplay and his little riddles. Completely insane. Goodbye, Jim. Probably. Drop the gun! Drop it! Captain Barnes, I was, I, I'm arresting Jim. Stop it, Ed. We heard everything. Now drop the gun and get on your knees. No, this is, this, I'm, he's, he's. Last chance! fighting again? They called me back! I didn't do anything. It wasn't me. It was Lucy. The fifth personality again. Such a nasty attitude. See, this gets complicated. See, Lucy 
is in his head, because Rudy has what's called multiple personalities. In his head. Fact, you said that Helsinger was handsome. Oh! You shove me! Oh! She slapped me. Now I'll tell you something, Lucy. You will leave Rudy alone, and if you come back here again, you'll have to deal with me. Thank you, Lucy. What is he doing here? Hello, Jimmy. Go to hell, Ed. Oh, you've already put me there. Here. <laughs> but not for long, my friend. I'll find my way out. Because this place is just one big puzzle, and puzzles are my forte. Nobody beats me. Mr. Nigma, eavesdropping is rude and unwise. Eavesdropping implies intent, and I'd mostly accidentally overheard. Overheard what? Jim Gordon. The word nuisance. Sounds familiar. Probably has something to do with your releasing Penguin and Gordon's ex fiance Probably. I can help you. Take him down. I know everything about Jim Gordon. If you let me out of here, we could probably just sit down in your office. Just give her something to concentrate on. I'm here. And Norton, serious boundary issues. Prone to torture, violence, and cannibalism. Unless he thinks he's your friend. For me? Mm -hmm. oh. My point is, everyone has a story, and they just want to be listened to. My god, I should be the shrink. What did you say? I'm sorry, was that too far? The correct answer is... Sorry, fellas. You lose. And what happens to losers? Yowza! Death by poison gas!